This is Twit. We've got one iOS 7 security thing to talk about when we get to fingerprints later on in the show, but there's other flaws. Whenever there's an iOS update, there's always going to be flaws that surface. With, and hopefully none of these have to do with the NSA. What are they? <laughs> so, okay, what what intrigued me about these, they're, 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 I found three different problems that have been reported. But from the standpoint of being a developer and just sort of, you know, problems have a feel. You can, you know, it's one thing to have like an obscure buffer overrun in some library that was written 10 years ago that that if you, you know, if you dance in a full moon in the dark with, you know, touching your nose and send in a certain thing, this will happen. That's one thing. These feel different. These feel like they are characteristic of a system which is getting overly complicated and is beginning to show its age. And that's sort of sad. I mean, these are, these are mistakes that, that, are, that are a consequence of complexity. And as we know, security and complexity are enemies of each other. Um, it is difficult for anything really complicated to be also be secure. And what, unfortunately, Apple has done is they have added feature on feature on feature on feature is that little there are little pathways, little cracks through the system that they obviously didn't foresee. So the first one is is just kind of a you know, I get a kick out of uh, that that been reported by a number of different people. The find my phone feature, much heralded in iOS seven, can be disabled by putting the device into airplane mode. Okay, well that's not surprising because yeah, airplane right. mode, of course, shuts down all communications. Because otherwise, we were told we're going to crash. Okay, so the problem is, in iOS 7, this can be done when the phone is locked with a passcode, meaning not by its owner, but by a thief, as the voice-activated assistant Siri, which is available by default while the, while the phone is locked, can be verbally instructed to turn off or to put the phone into airplane mode. <laughs> <laughs> that's just one of those ones where they weren't. They, they thought, oh, well, putting in airplane mode, you should be able to do that. That's that's not a security flaw. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yes, it is. And then the problem is Siri is still accessible, as we're as we will hear in the third one, which is another Siri accessibility problem. She's accessible while the phone's locked. Yeah. So you just so a thief first thing the thief does is have Siri put the phone in airplane mode for him and now it doesn't have to worry now it can you know attack the phone and not have to worry about find my phone being activated remotely it can't be cuz you know it's disconnected wow now this one <laughs> apparently there was a soldier who had a lot of time on his hands and he was bored maybe he was on guard duty uh Jose Rodriguez in the Canary Islands somehow worked his way through this little gem. Um, anyone can exploit the bug by swiping up on the lock screen to access the phone's control center. We'll be coming back to the control center later because I have a peeve of my own about that. But I'm going to do this so, along with you. So you swipe up on the lock screen to access the phone's control center. And then opening the alarm clock holding the phone's sleep button brings up the option to power it off with a swipe. Instead, the intruder can tap cancel and double click the home button to enter the phone's multitasking screen. So far, so good. It's working. That offers access to its camera and stored photos, along with the ability to share those photos from the user's various accounts, essentially allowing anyone who grabs the phone to hijack the user's email, Twitter, or Flickr account. And then people who wrote about this said, the far-reaching nature of this breach through the steps described above offer unfettered access to a user's photos and the sharing functions of those photos. 
That includes access to social media accounts and emails. And by selecting the option to send a photo by iMessage, it also allows complete access to the user's contacts and all information stored therein. So, I mean, this is a, just a classic mistake and then a wedge that, that pries open access to other, other parts that are needed in order for the, the first phase to function. I got into App my app store, too. <laughs> Apple has reportedly acknowledged the mistake and pledged to rectify it in a later software update. Until this gap is patched, users can prevent this from happening to them by disabling access to the control center on the lock screen. All Go right. to settings, then control center, then swipe the option to access on lock screen so that it does not dis not display on the lock screen. So another little mistake. It's like, you know, oh, won't these features be nice? But they do kind of combine in a way that wasn't expected.